We were both Lawrence lifers all of our lives, born and raised in Lawrence. Both Lawrence High graduates. Uh, he was athletic in high school, played football. Steve uh, was, a, you know, of course, a little more mature, let's say, than I was and uh, back back in my day. So he was uh, not only my mentor, but had the same influence that a big brother would. We started back in the 80s, ran through the golden decades of the 80s and 90s when Lawrence was just blowing up. And uh, we, we grew that. Uh, Steve and, and driving the ship and the rest of us just kind of trying to trying to you know make it successful. Steve wasn't a micromanager maybe he micromanaged himself but that led to you know pretty dedicated and loyal staff uh, just because of the way he, he treated us. Steve isn't a real uh, uh, talkative individual necessarily but I've learned that when he does say something it's probably a good idea that you listen because it usually involves common sense and it usually involves the details and and whatever the project is or whatever the issues might be he usually uh, uh, gets right to the point and, and, and makes good decisions and, and, and has good things or, or bad things to say about the project, whatever it might be. You can see uh, uh, Steve's leadership qualities in terms of how he is on the board. Uh, Steve brings a very thoughtful approach uh, to his duties. Um, he brings a somewhat conservative view to his duties, but he is always open to information, always open to uh, working with other people. Talking about the SLT, you know, Steve thinks LRM is no longer a part of that. Well, we're a big part of the completion of that right now. Actually, the bridge time, the western half and the eastern half of Iowa Street, that's LRM concrete in that bridge. So I thought that was kind of a neat little tidbit that LRM is still part of the completion of the bypass. Without that bridge, they wouldn't connect. He is, he and Therese are both I would call them pillars of the Lawrence community because they have contributed for so many years with their family business and then through their all their contributions through the various nonprofits in town. And uh, of course, I got to know that firsthand with the Lawrence Schools Foundation. I think when he retired, he had a real uh, passion for Lawrence and Douglas County, and I think it was his desire to stay involved as much as he could. And, He's chosen that path and uh, it's been a great success, not only for him, but for our community. Steve was always the first to give and again, lead by example. If he was going to ask someone else to make a donation or a contribution in some way, he did it first. I really admire that giving uh, um, motivation in him. He, you have to understand that in terms of all those things, he was often here almost every day, maybe more than once a day in terms of, uh, of his engagement and the things that he was doing. I mean, that's, that's service over and above what you can normally expect. But that's what he expected of himself. Steve was the first one at the office, last one to leave, you know? I mean, the total dedication to the company and, uh, and his employees. He, he treated everybody fairly and still does today. His hobby, it seemed like me, was doing his job. He, you know, he was so good at it, and and he loved it, and he loved being in Lawrence, and uh, and you know that was kind of reflected throughout the company. It just, uh, you know, uh, at least once a year he'd say, "Man, it's great to be in Lawrence." He put a lot into it, and uh, I think this is a great honor, and we're proud of him.